Hey Joe here and welcome to the second session of series 2 in the 5 minute guides to RK and the Archimede model. This session covers an example of a business architecture framework. A business architecture should aim at representing the people, services, functions and motivations of a business. The business architecture can then provide a reference point or blueprint to provide context on subsequent application and technology models. The product or services need to connect to customers. They are supported by core business services and a business is typically supported by a number of stakeholders such as partners or shareholders. The core business services will need supporting functions such as finance, IT, sales and marketing. A business plan and strategy will set the business goals and typically be governed by regulations and compliance measures. And of course the business needs to track how well it is performing. All the components are interconnected and need to understand how to access the information from each other. The business architecture framework concepts can be overlaid with the Archimate concepts. The product and services with product, the business actor for the customer, business service for the core business services, Stakeholder for involved parties, business function for the supporting functions, driver for the strategy and planning, and goals for the business goals, constraints for regulatory and compliance, and outcome for business performance. From the framework concepts, we can build out an Archimate reference model with the core business services as a centrepiece. The business architecture should be in a language that is understood by the business. What I find works well is listing the key value chain or high level process flow of the business and then aligning some of the key business functions to the relevant business event. This also comes in handy when overlaying application components, which we'll look at in the next session. Naturally, there'll be more business functions than listed here but hopefully it provides enough for an example. Archimate provides a standard product object that can be used to list products and services provided by an organisation. It can be hierarchical if needed to reflect product bundles or groupings. The business actor object can be used to reflect customers, people, business units or other organisations. In this example, I use a concept of involved parties to list all of the various parties that may receive a service from the business, either as a direct customer or an intermediate such as agents and retailers. This again will have value when we map out the application landscape and the integration model with external parties. The business function object is used to reflect the related group of business activities that support the core business service. We could represent these as business actors, although not every organisation will have a one-to-one -one business unit within the supporting functions. The Archimate Motivation Driver object is used to represent the key business strategies. The Archimate Motivation Constraint object is used to represent the regulatory and compliance measures as they will often restrict or govern how a business can or should operate. This could also include tax jurisdictions, industry standards compliance or quality of services, etc. The Archimate Motivation Goals object is used to represent the key mission statements or future objectives that can be linked to the drivers and outcomes. The Archimate Motivation Outcome object is used to represent the performance and measure of the business that can be linked to the drivers and goals. We can also repeat the framework for each business unit and there is nothing stopping us from representing some of the motivation objects as business functions such as strategy and planning or regulatory and compliance functions. Well that concludes our session in the business architecture. We've learned we can use Archimate notation to build out a business architecture reference model that can represent the complete business on a page or individual business units on a page. I hope you got some value out of this 
and it's helped you fast track your understanding of Archie and the Archimate framework. The next session we will cover the application layer and how it can link to the business layer.